Hi, the world. Hello, welcome to my humble abode. Today I'd like to talk a bit about something that is very dear to me. Star Wars. If you like pina coladas and getting caught up let's, let's go back, like, 15 years or so when young little Louise uh, first saw uh, Star Wars for the first time. I saw The Empire Strikes Back for the first time. No, that's not even true. Um, it was The Phantom Menace. Yes, episode one, Phantom Menace, that was the first Star Wars film I ever saw. And yes, I, I kind of like it. I don't hate it. I don't. And it probably has a lot to do with the fact that that was the first one I saw. Uh, but after that, I saw episode four, five, six. Six is my favourite. I just don't know why everybody loves episode five so much. I just never caught it. Anyway. Um, saw them, fell in love, uh, and the most important thing here is that after I'd seen The Phantom Menace for the first time, um, it was not the cinema, it was at home, it was like a Friday night film or something on TV, and the first thing I did, once I'd finished it, was I went back to my room, I picked up pen and paper, and I wrote a story about how I, me, Louise, was a Jedi Padawan, and Obi-Wan Kenobi was my master. Still have that fantasy, just in a bit of a different scenario. I mean, honestly, who doesn't love Ewan McGregor? <laughs> honestly. Seems like the best person alive. Seriously. Like the best. The important part he here is that I wanted to be a part of that universe. I saw Star Wars. I felt I want to be there. I want uh, to be on Tatooine, I want to see Yoda, I want to be in a place where scrap dealers look like fat little blue creatures that fly and where the Queen has this white face and all this makeup and where Keira Knightley looks just like her. I, I wanted to be there. I wanted to have a Padawan little <laughs> I one braid. I actually think I made that in my hair for like weeks to come. And what's noteworthy here is that I did not write myself as Padme or as any of her chambermaids or whatever you want to call them. I wrote myself as a Jedi because I wanted to be uh, an ass-kicking, mind-controlling lightsaber thing, thingy Jedi. I wanted to be Qui-Gon. I wanted to be Yoda. I wanted to be Obi-Wan Kenobi. I knew there were girls in, who were Jedis because, I mean, there were like two or three of them in the council. But that's it, you know, the rest of them were boys. And I didn't really think about it that much um, then. But after a while, you start growing up and you realise that even though you can be Leia or you can be Padme in her skinny white outfit that never gets dirty, just gets a very appropriate cut right through her nice abs. You know, you start thinking that there's, there is a place for me in this, in this universe, it's just not the one I'd hoped it to be. And that's sad. Let's just fast forward to like a couple of days ago when Star Wars, or Rogue One, a Star Wars story, the teaser trailer for that was released. Oh my god, I was so excited. I'm still am excited. Have you seen it? I mean, I guess you have, otherwise you wouldn't come here and watch this, right? You wouldn't, you wouldn't come here otherwise. Um, but anyway. Uh, if you don't know, if you haven't seen it, um, Rogue One, the Star Wars story, is um, set not after um, episode 6, like Star Wars episode 7, uh, The Force uh, Awakens, that one, it's not like that one, it's, um, this is before, this is somewhere between episode 3 and 4, it's when the where the Rebellion um, 
fans the blueprints for the Death Star, you know, the big round thing that um, Darth Vader uses to destroy Alderaan. Um, and it looks amazing. First of all, it has Felicity Jones playing the main character. And this is where some people uh, want to call it controversial. I don't really think we should call it controversial. I mean, honestly, it's 2016, guys. Come on. Seriously. But yes, it has upset some people, uh, which is sad, which is also the reason why I'm doing this, because uh, I feel like people need to know why this is important, that there is actually a girl who's got the main character. And also, I mean, <laughs> seriously, it's just one girl. It's just the one. Diego Luna plays one of her uh, gang members, <laughs> I guess you could call it. Um, a wingman. I love Diego Luna. Who doesn't, right? Dirty Dancing too. What a man. And uh, Forrest Whitaker as well. So yeah, it's just one woman surrounded by men. So honestly, it doesn't change that much. But, um, it's Felicity Jones. Felicity Jones is amazing. If you haven't seen, um, The Theory of Everything, you need to watch it now. She is the power of that movie. I mean, I know Eddie Redmayne won an Oscar for that, but seriously, look at her. She's brilliant. And Eddie Redmayne, I mean, he just manages to play characters who have amazing wives. Look at Alicia Vikander. What a brilliant, what a star. I'm not saying that because she's Swedish. She's just amazing. Anyway, Felicity Jones, playing the main character, who seems to be a pilot? Rebel? Something like that. I'm not sure. I'm not a Star Wars expert, and I think we should all just settle that. I can love Star Wars just as much as you do. I don't have to be an expert. I don't have to be an expert on this subject to enjoy it. So don't try and ask me, oh, but have you seen this? Oh, but have you read the comics? Oh, but have you, do you know this? I don't. I love the films. I've watched them over and over again. And it is a universe where I feel like I belong. And so do you. And you don't have the right to say that I can't be there. I have always wanted to be a Jedi. Or a smuggler. Or a rebel, a pilot, I mean, I wanted to be Boba Fett, I hope there was a girl there behind that, because the truth is, I have all my life watched films and had, I've always had to use my imagination to put myself in the main character's position, I couldn't just change names, I couldn't just pretend because I had to find I had to come up with another story I had to come up with a different backstory I had to I had to become I had to write a story I had to write fan fiction in my head to be in the universe because I couldn't just put myself there and even though that's fun and I've written my fair share of fan fiction in my head and on paper we shouldn't have to do that it makes me so happy to know that somewhere there's a girl, a 10 year old girl, who sees Rogue One, a Star Wars story, and she thinks I have a part in this universe. I don't have to make room to fit in. I am there. And that's important. And that's why we need more of these films and I'm very happy that Star Wars, Disney, Lucasfilm are doing this. It's very important, not just to me, but to a lot, a lot, a lot of people all over the world. I know that a lot of people say that, like, in episode 7, Rey is a Mary Sue. Now, the problem about Mary Sue's um, is that it's just, uh, it's just idiotic, seriously. Why even use that term? You're like, oh, but she's such a Mary Sue. And usually people say that because she's likeable or that people like her. 
that she's good at everything she does and um you know just gets everything handed to her that's bullshit we can be likable we can be smart we can be funny we can be sexy we can be all of that and we are still believable i find myself quite attractive i think i'm smart i find myself absolutely hilarious and i'm one person so why can't we show that kind of people on screen i think the character of Ray is amazing. I think the character of Leia is just as amazing. I just don't understand why we can't have more of these people. How hard can it be? Just change the name, change the sex. Girls can be dicks. Girls can be amazing. Girls can be everything. Women can be everything that men can. I know I'm ranting but that's just because I'm sick of it and I know that a lot of guys, a lot of people in general are so excited, so 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 excited to see this trailer and are just as thrilled as I am to see a girl whoop ass on screen and I'm very happy for you guys who are out there who think so and I'm also very happy for you guys who don't let sexism the patriarchy bring you down oh god I said the horrible world I said the awful world of patriarchy yes it exists anyway that's not the deal here I just like I said I just think it's very important that there are more women like this on screen and I am so 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 happy that young girls and women are going to grow up and see these people on screen in Star Wars and I am so jealous that I don't get to be there. God, I wish I was there. Isn't that everybody's dream to be in Star Wars? Seriously. Oh God, I want to be a Jedi so bad. That was all. I just want to say I'm very excited about Rogue One. I can't wait to see the story take place. Um, and I'm very excited that there will be more Star Wars. Cause, hey, can only can only be good stuff, right? And if you don't like it, then fuck off, honestly. You don't have to watch the films. Nobody is ruining your childhood. You can just watch the three films that you enjoy over and over again, that's fine. We won't say anything. Take care and uh, have a good day. And of course, may the force be with you. If you like being a